Yo. Yo. Hey. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like to text us, please do so. 913-586-7965. 913-586-7965. There you go. Yeah. We've talked about hobbies before and mm-hmm. how we could use some. And maybe we have some and didn't even realize that they were hobbies. I mean, I've gotten pretty into this uh, online sports betting thing. Looking mm-hmm. for a sponsor still for this sure. program. And, uh, that, you know, we're not going to say names until someone comes along and says, we're your guys. Exactly. And once they do that, we're going to need a sponsor. Say it as often as you'd like us to, because it seems like literally everyone has a sponsorship yeah. except us. And we use it and we talk about it. We use it all the time. Yeah. So they asked uh, women, what are the least attractive hobbies men can have? Oh, really? And I That's thought, do I care? Like, then I thought, do I have any hobbies? And then as I was reading well, through, I was like, them, yeah, maybe yeah, okay. I sort of have a hobby. I don't know. But because there are some things on there that I definitely do. But th- these are the ones that they talked about, okay? So I'll just start at the bottom and move up. Investing, like being really into the stock market and talking about in- investments all the time. Is that a hobby? I guess it's that's a, hobby. a hobby. Yeah. Um, yeah, that seems like crypto. the kind of thing that that's higher up on the list. Ugh. Crypto is a couple spaces above that. So it goes investing, then anime. Okay. Slash whatever that other thing is called. Manga. Uh, yeah, manga. Or manga. Or however I you think say if it. you're into, manga. it doesn't bother me. If yeah. you're into anime, and I don't even know what manga is, but whatever. But that feels like something you got to find somebody else who is also exactly. into it. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. That's like a pretty big thing, right? Because yes. if you're talking about it, I've never seen. I'm very confused by it. Like, there, 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 there can't be a lot of interaction about it. And it also means a lot to you because yes. you, you had to go out and find it. Exactly. Right? So, therefore, like, just find somebody else who likes it. I agree. And I think there's a couple of those things. Some of those you don't have to. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody wants to invest in the stock market, they don't really. If you're like, I don't understand that. I'm not interested at all. Then let's talk about it again. Yeah, just don't try to try not to bore them to death with all the details when it's not their hobby. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm with you. Anime seems like one where it would be good to find someone who has some interest. Right? Right. You have to watch the stock market together, right? (laughs) Right. You gotta watch anime together. Yeah, you gotta subscribe to whatever. What, what right. is that thing? That then you gotta to? get her to dress up like that. <laughs> that's oh, hard. Yeah, She's not cosplay. into it. Right. You know, I'm surprised actually I didn't see cosplay on the list. Maybe that's uh, more of a hobby that you associate niche. with women. I don't know. Or yeah, a little bit more specific and niche. A day drinking slash being really into booze. And I thought, okay, mm, well, boy. a booze connoisseur. <laughs> Um, you know, talking about different types of booze, is that a and, hobby? and that's what I'm saying. Like, is I think day drinking is a hobby. I think it can be. Of course, be. you do. Man, why wouldn't it be? Because <laughs> otherwise, it's a habit. And you know, <laughs> right, I think a habit could be like, I need this. I think a right. hobby. Once you start saying, I like this, I like this better. I'd be interested to try other things. I am doing a little bit of a taste test here. It is not I'm a trying problem. to refine my. Ta- right, it's a hobby. Be- yeah. I mean, it's a hobby because just drink- I like to drink during the day. Yeah. Yeah, that in and of itself, I guess, so, could be. Right. And I like to hang out with other people who drink during the day. We have right. a day drinkers club. Right. Okay, why is that any different than your stupid red hats? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and I, I, they said day drinking, that's on the list, yet drug use isn't, which I thought, well, it's kind of the, the same thing. Illegal. And, and, and drug Not use is a career criminal. Well, yeah. true. But if you, uh, that seems like another one that you should share with the person. You know, if you smoke a ton of pot, like you're really into marijuana, yeah. you probably need to date someone who at least likes marijuana. I'm not saying you have to. I know there's plenty of couples right. that don't, but it seems like that would be good to have those things in common. Same sure. with the, the drinking. Crypto is next on the list, okay. which certainly is a hobby, but it almost feels like we've we've passed the peak of that, right? Mm. I hear about it yeah, less okay, now. Yeah. Is it just because they of the crash? Hard, or, yeah. And is that the main reason, or do people get tired of hearing about it? Or both. is it one of those things where guys who are really into it started to hear these stereotypes, like, oh, women are sick of hearing about it, and like, oh, okay. I thought this was cool to talk about, but I guess no one wants to hear about it, so I'll keep it to myself. I don't know. But they Which listed that as a never hobby. happens with day drinking. Right. By the way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. People may not join you for day drinking on every day, but they'll join you one Eventually, day. Eventually, sure. they will. They'll join they, you. Nobody, nobody they, hates day drinking. No, they're not going to miss every day Mm-mm, of it. No. Nope. Whereas I've never seen like, What are you doing? I'm day drinking. They're like, ah, I got stuff to do. Um, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm day drinking. I could probably come over around noon. That's yeah. like, that's it. Nobody, but if you're like, what are you doing? You're like, I'm investing in crypto. They're like, Okay. Right. That's the end of the conversation. Yep. Uh-huh. Exactly. Day eventually, drinking will never leave you alone. Eventually, they're going to come around. Mm-hmm. And then it's, it's like a, a broken clock. It's going to be right twice a day. At some yep. point, you guys are going to be drinking at the same time during yep. the day. 
This one, I don't really know exactly what this means because they just said amateur radio, also known as like ham, ham radio. Do people actually like still do that? I think so. They, they do. Too. Well, that's what I wondered. That would be like uh, no, that's po- different. That's though. a separate thing, though. Yeah. I think with the amateur radio, they're, they're the, talking the about ham, ham radio. Yeah, the right? ham radio How thing. Is that? I mean, my uncle I think people was into do it. it. Yeah. yeah, I think it's you know. It seems like a pretty dated thing. Huh. I know my uncle was into it. I don't truly. What are they doing? Like short. Wave radio and trying to pick really up know how stations it works. It's like from CB other countries. Type of thing, yeah, I CB, guess. I feel like is, but I don't know what the ham it, radio. Right? I don't know what the difference is in that. But yeah, that's what it is. And I do know people. I, I don't know anybody who does it, but I know people do it. My uncle. How about did. that? Like I've read about it. Is a ham radio and a CB radio different, or is that the same? thing? They got to be different. Oh, I thought they were the same thing. Well, what does CB stand for? I have no idea. No idea. Well, I'm on it. The closed broadcast. Uh, closed and what does ham stand for? <laughs> I don't know. Because it is spelled ham like H-A-M, right? It's not H-A-M-M so. or no. it's just ham radio. Citizens Band. Citizens Band is CB radio. Okay, so what's a ham, ham radio? Is that just like shortwave radio? or? Uh, I'm not seeing any um, ham radio. I don't think it stands for anything. But ham radio. We're it not making up. amateur radio. Hmm. Oh, so maybe ham radio is home uh, amateur. Exactly. Maybe it's some sort of acronym yeah. that includes the word amateur. Okay, here. In it. Why is it called ham radio? Amateur. 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 But yeah, I've not met someone uh, recently who's into that. My I mean, when I was little, person. I remember like my whole family had CBs and stuff. Yeah, because it was before chat rooms and the internet. Yeah, it, was you know, it made in, sense. They'd like, use oh. them a lot in the car when you're driving. Right. It was fun. You so could talk the term to term Ham operator was originally used by landline telegraphers to refer to amateur operators. Who thought they had poor skills? Oh, okay. like calling him a ham? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, okay, interesting. Like well, ham actor. Apparently, yeah, I don't that's know if a, I say interesting. It's like a derogatory <laughs> term. Right. I'm not going to remember that <laughs> because I definitely don't care. But I, I'm not. I, I would be shocked if there's a lot of amateur ham radio guys out there under. I bet you there's an amateur ham radio group of guys in your neighborhood. You think so? Absolutely. Okay. All right. I know, like in Boy Scout, you were you you were Cub Scout, right? Did you no. have to do it for Cub Scouts? I thought no. you were in Cub Scouts for a little while. No? Oh, okay. Like I thought you did it briefly. Month or something. Yeah, that's kind of how I was. Ham radio group. Because my friend who was a Boy Scout, he got real into the ham radio thing for a while, and he would come over to the house and say, like, now check it out. you got to have a code name. And there's this guy, his name's Marmaduke, and he's been talking to me a lot. And even at that we'll young age, you now, I thought, why is this guy talking to you? Like, we're pretty young. You know, I didn't. I don't know if I totally put two and two together, but it did seem creepy. I was like, "Why is this guy Old talking?" Marmaduke. And he was teaching me all the the slang that you have to know. Uh, you know, your checks in the mail, ten four, all that ham radio talk. I was like, "All right, I'm, I'm l- well." Less you and less can meet the this. last Monday of each month if you're interested at the Johnson County Center Resource Library. The last Monday of e- last Monday of each month mm-hmm. at seven p.m. local time. You can go hang out with other. Mm, we'll be there. Okay. National Association of Amateur Radio we People. Go. Who do you think? Who do you imagine if you showed up there? Do you have a picture in your head of, of someone that's going to be there that we know? Oh, that we know. Your yes. brother. No, 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 no. Someone yeah, that we used guess. to. I mean, no, it's Dan Don. He could be. He could be. Dan Don. I, I like him, but you sometimes you talk yeah, about he hobbies of, he's into, and I'm like, wow, well, I would have never guessed. Yeah. He, and now, he and now, it. after all these years, nothing would be past me. And he right. You're radio, like, he goes to he? coffee with yeah. cars in the morning. I'm like, yeah. He does that? Yeah. If you told me the last Monday of every month, he goes to this ham operator's thing, and he wants me to go with him, and he's going to come pick me up, and I and you'd be like, I really don't want to go, but I'm going to go with him. Right. And I'd be like, you're going to a ham. Like, this conversation yeah, probably shocking. happened. Yeah. It wouldn't Literally, be it's probably happened. And maybe he was into it. Now I kind of want to <laughs> ask him because I feel like that's a that's, that's a 50 50. There's a pretty good chance. Again, these are Nailed it. male hobbies that are least attractive, according to women. Uh, so amateur radio. The next one is exercise, but like when it becomes your whole thing, you know, I'm training for a triathlon. That's thing. I think you got to. It's share. like anime. You got to find that person yep. who's going to do it with you. I thought of that all person of them who's on the into list. it who wants to eat well, wants yep. to exercise. Because if the other person doesn't want to do it, then it makes them feel bad, right? And exactly. even though you're like, I don't care what you do, I love you, whatever. This is what I'm into. Nah. You're still like, yeah, but you're running 20 miles. Right, making me feel guilty. I'm day drinking. <laughs> I know you're It just doesn't work. Me. Like, yeah. I, I'm attracted to you, and I guess you like me because I'm drunk and funny sometimes, but this can't work long term. Yep. I, of all of them on the list, I thought that's the one where it's most important, I, I think, that you share I go over that it. girl's house and day drinking. 
trying to pretend like I like anime. <laughs> right. Most, so much easier to pretend like I like anime than it is to get up and run a marathon. Oh, you? for sure. I'll watch <laughs> anime for hours. I mean, if you just told me, like, all you can watch for the rest of the year is anime, or you have to train for a triathlon for a couple of weeks, no, I'll just watch anime. Yeah. I'll watch it for five years. I don't, I'm not exercising. I would say I'm going to train. I'm like, oh, it'll be good for me, too. And then after a while, I'll be like, I should have done that. Should have watched the anime. Oh, like God's falling behind you. makes you do whichever one. I'm like, oh, I should have watched the anime. I hate this. Uh, So the top three least attractive hobbies that a guy can have, according to women, number three is gambling. That is a Mm. hobby, right? I mean, it definitely is. I know those people, who they talk about it a lot. Social media, like if you're way into social media and spend a lot of time uh, on Facebook, Twitter, you're you're constantly looking at social media on your phone. And then number one, of course, they always got to bring these guys down, the model train guys. Which, again, that's kind of like the ham radio thing. I know it exists, but I don't know that I've met someone. There's like a train store by my house. I drive by it all the time. It's called like, you know. Tom's trains or something yeah, like there there's people there, right? There, there Over there on like 87th there? or something, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? And you, there's like people you've seen people in there, like do they yeah, like, yeah. do a Christmas sure. display? And yeah. have your kids ever asked to go look at model trains? No, yeah, I don't no. recall ever. I'm not opposed to them, like I think they're kind of cool it, when I see them running. I'm like, that's cool, you too. guys built that whole thing, but then I'm like, if I tried it, wouldn't work, it's get right. stuck somewhere, like I tried when I was a kid and go all the way around the building and then would just get stuck and I couldn't get the thing and. Uh, it's like Legos. Yep. Good for you. You're good at it. I'm not. Back to ham radio. Now that I think we <laughs> back, could be good at. Back to day drinking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah.